Hi, it's John. It's the 22nd of October 2016. Now, I went to a secondary modern school, and we used to go to school on a double-decker bus. And generally, uh, was it? Yeah, the boys tended to go upstairs. I suppose the girls must have been downstairs. Don't remember much about the girls, actually. But there was two buses from our village that went to the same school. And sometimes the other double-decker bus would go past our double-decker bus and we were on the upstairs. And Or sometimes it would be alongside it. And the bus had sort of windows at the top and there were sliding windows you could slide like that. And whenever the other bus came by, it was sort of like man the windows and we I don't know whether I did it I can't honestly I can't honestly remember but the boys would slide the windows and spit out the other window we used to call it flob flob at the other bus going past and they'd be doing the same thing um and there were a lot of smokers up there, so I think that tended to give them plenty of sort of thick phlegm to flob, <laughs> phlegm to flob at the other bus. And this was quite, uh, you know, this was just something that they they always did, tradition. It, I suppose it may have, you know, gone back to the times of Trafalgar, you know, somehow in your bones that this is what you did, you know, when... Someone from another part, this another part of the village. They were from another part of the village because the village was about a mile long. Um, you fought them, um, and I remember another occasion with the bus, which is perhaps even funnier because of road works and such like and drivers who didn't know where they were going quite often the bus would go on a on, on a, a circular route and and it would go the wrong way and we would encourage always encourage the driver to go the wrong way on the way to school and um <coughs> there's one steep hill and we'd all rush to the back of the bus if there was a steep hill because we thought then that then somehow that was going to make it more difficult for the bus to get up the hill but this other occasion that I'm talking about was when our bus was going on a strange route and we just happened to be going past a service bus. And on the top deck of this service bus, there was a lad from our class in school. A very sort of quiet and quite serious, well, quite quite quiet, but quite serious, but also we had a sense of humour and we were desperately banging on the window no 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 you know it's us it's us we're here we're here and and he was so good at ignoring us you know we we thought that he hadn't heard and of course he had heard but he was just he knew what chaos would erupt if <coughs> he showed of any signs that he, you know, that he was in communication with us. And this sort of reminds me of of, a fi of films, you know, when you've had someone who's died in a film and they're like a ghost and um, they can, you can see them. No, they can see you, but you can't, but they can't communicate with you quite common it is in the film ghost but it's also quite common in in other films that i've seen it's, it's quite good i quite like that that thing it's quite fun um and that was as i say that was on the upstairs of a bus again of course i don't think you can open windows on buses now and um i hope children i hope children are more supervised on buses than what we were it was a it was a complete riot on the school bus. Right, bye for now.